A tipler cylinder, also called a tipler time machine, is a hypothetical object theorized to be a potential mode of time travel, although results have shown that a tipler cylinder could only allow time travel if its length were infinite or with the existence of negative energy. The tipler cylinder was discovered as a solution to the equations of general relativity by William Jacob van Stockham in 1936 and Cornell Lanczos in 1924, but not recognized as allowing closed time-like curves until an analysis by Frank Tipler in 1974. Tipler showed in his 1974 paper, Rotating Cylinders and the Possibility of Global Causality Violation, that in a space-time containing a massive, infinitely long cylinder which was spinning along its longitudinal axis, the cylinder should create a frame-dragging effect. This frame-dragging effect warps space-time in such a way that the light cones of objects in the cylinder's proximity become tilted, so that part of the light cone then points backwards along the time axis on a space-time diagram. Therefore, a spacecraft accelerating sufficiently in the appropriate direction can travel backwards through time along a closed time-like curve or CTC. CTCs are associated in Lorentzian manifolds which are interpreted physically as spacetimes, with the possibility of causal anomalies such as going back in time and potentially shooting your own grandfather, although paradoxes might be avoided using some constraints such as the Novikov self-consistency principle. They have an unnerving habit of appearing in some of the most important exact solutions in general relativity including the curve vacuum and the Van Stockham dust. An objection to the practicality of building a tipler cylinder was discovered by Stephen Hawking, who provided a proof that according to general relativity it is impossible to build a time machine in any finite region that satisfies the weak energy condition, meaning that the region contains no exotic matter with negative energy. The Tipler cylinder, on the other hand, does not involve any negative energy. Tipler's original solution involved a cylinder of infinite length, which is easier to analyze mathematically. And although Tipler suggested that a finite cylinder might produce closed time-like curves if the rotation rate were fast enough, he did not prove this. But Hawking comments, it can't be done with positive energy density everywhere. I can prove that to build a finite time machine, you need negative energy. Hawking's proof appears in his 1992 paper on the chronology protection conjecture. In the paper, he examines the case that the causality violations appear in a finite region of space-time without curvature singularities and proves that T here will be a Cauchy horizon that is compactly generated and that in general contains one or more closed null geodesics which will be incomplete. One can define geometrical quantities that measure the Lorentz boost and area increase on going round these closed null geodesics. If the causality violation developed from a non-compact initial surface, the averaged weak energy condition must be violated on the Cauchy horizon, Tipler cylinders in fiction. Doctor Who, the TARDIS is shown traveling through a time vortex, which could be a Tipler cylinder. Stein's Gate is a visual novel which mentions Tipler cylinders with the topic of time travel and John Titor. John Deconcy's Starrigger series uses vertically aligned Tipler cylinders to create space-time gateways along an intergalactic highway. Larry Niven wrote a short story, Rotating Cylinders and the Possibility of Global Causality Violation, that borrowed its title from Tipler's paper. Paul Anderson in Diana the Avatar novel, Werner Winger in the novel Marooned in Real Time, Chris Straub's Star Slip comic includes a Tipler cylinder created as a work of art, which also causes time travel. Ian Douglas has a Tipler cylinder created by aliens of unknown origin in Star Carrier Singularity. 
Star Trek Online uses a device by the same name which gives the player the ability to reverse time several seconds within a localized field. In the SCP Foundation Creative Writing Project, SCP-2540 is a tipler cylinder that is perceived as a key line. In The Dark Tower by Stephen King, the Dark Tower, a very tall cylinder and a magical structure, causes a reversal of the flow of time as it is approached, and time is at one point described as spinning off from it, which both match the description of a tipler cylinder.